Welcome to the Getting Started Guide for Google Groups. You'll notice that I'm in Gmail to begin with, and I just did this uh, to point out something that um, some people overlook. Uh, they wonder where do I go to get to my groups, and the easy answer is in the top navigation bar here. You'll see that, uh, that there's a more link, and if you check the more, you can see the groups. You can go ahead and drop into groups, and when that page loads, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit and give you a nice tight shot. All right, there we go. So there's your, uh, there's your Google group, uh, brand new, fresh out of the box. Uh, first thing you want to do, just like Gmail and Calendar and Docs, the other videos that you've probably already watched, and if you haven't, you should, is to pop into um, your groups and, uh, sorry, it's down here, uh, view your profile and set your profile uh, details. So let's go ahead and do that now. And you'll see here, no information. So let's go ahead and just click Edit. And I can give myself a name. And I'm in San Francisco. I'm me. And industry, so on and so forth. Eh, I'll leave that blank. Uh, you can include a link here. So this would be a good place if your company has internal um, uh, blogs set up or websites set up you know for individual um, users or people uh, and you'd like to put a link to your internal site you can do that here uh, as well as including a quote and a little bit about you and so we're just going to go ahead and save that and there you have it. Oh, by all means, uh, feel free to add a picture as well when you edit uh, to, to get rid of that funny looking silhouette picture. So we're going to go back to My Groups and uh, just show you very quickly what it's like to create a group. So we have an account already. We're going to set up a group. We're going to invite some people. So let's go ahead and create a group. We're going to name this group uh, My Project. And it's my project. All right, so easy enough. Uh, we have, you'll notice that there's an email address associated to this. Um, I always hate to put hyphens in emails, so I'm just going to put my project. And uh, that's how people can email in responses uh, or new items, questions, so on and so forth. And there will be also a um, URL for your group so you'll be able to share that with the rest of your team and let's say that the access level should be uh, anyone in in uh, our domain can can view this site um, alternatively you know only certain people um, or it's an announcement site only I've seen this used from sort of HR before uh, as well as like company announcements um, or restrictive uh, so anybody is restricted, anybody that you know is, is invited can, can view this. So let's go ahead and create the group. And we'll give the page a moment to load. And let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and, and leave I'm going to leave this blank, but feel free to add members uh, via email into this, uh, this these two fields. or leave it blank for right now. Typically, I like to create the group and do all the configuration, or not all, there's not really much, but do a little bit of configuration before I start inviting people in so that there's a, a nice welcome message, that sort of thing, uh, when they arrive at the group. So we're going to skip the step here, and you'll see that now up at the top I'm in my project, and I can post a new message, and I can also send a mail to this group at my project at Rubis Info. And that'll just show up here in the discussion forum, as well as send a notification to all of the members in this particular group. And they'll get a nice little email that says, hey, there was a message posted, so on and so forth. And they have the ability to change their settings um, on the, the uh, how often they receive those notifications as well, um, or if they receive those notifications at all. Uh, so keep in mind that Google Groups is very similar to the public view of... I shouldn't say public view, but if you used a Google group before in the public domain, personal domain, or whatnot, you're part of a, a mailing list or, or whatnot, this functionality um, replicates that. 
So it, it's it's the same sort of environment, more of an email newsletter, or uh, I mean, uh, n email um, distribution list uh, than anything else. But uh, a nice addition to uh, to have inside your organization, and as you can see, it's really easy to set up. So I'm just going to bounce back to. Um, Let's go back to the groups overview, and you'll see that my groups. I have my projects. Can do things like adding a you know a logo in here or a little picture or whatnot, um, and you can uh, manage your individual membership options as well for other groups that you're invited to. So I hope uh, you learned a few things today about Google Groups and how to use it in your organization. Let us know if you have any questions.